In this brand new Let Me Mask plugin, you get four different types of masks, which you can easily switch between. To access this mask, go to this drop down and turn on Fusion Overlay. The first mask is the square mask, which is a mask that I made for easy to access each side. Unlike the rectangle mask, which you can't move each side individually. That's why I created the square mask. Next is the circle mask, which is self-explanatory. And then is the draw mask. Once you select this mask, you will see this black screen. But if you click on it, you can start drawing on it. And once you complete it, it will put a hole there. Then you have to invert this mask and then you will get your custom mask. Oh, and also if you go at the bottom here, you will see this animate mask points. If you add a keyframe here and then move few frame forward, then you can animate these points. And, and if you play the animation, you can see it has animated the points, which can be very helpful in some situation like removing some moving object. At last, we have the rectangle mask. I think most people are going to use this square mask, but I still want to keep it in case someone really wants it. So the rectangle mask is as usual. You can move one side and it will move other side. And at the bottom, you get the content control where you can move the content inside the mask. Then you get the master control, which will move everything. And finally, you get the outline control, which you can add any kind of outline here but that's not it if you go to the blur section here you have some more options so first the mask is applied to the image but if you switch to blur you see it's showing the full image which by the way you can easily adjust the mask like if you want to have a preview of the full image so that you can mask precisely you can do that but the main use case for this is to mask the blur but we don't have any blur so from this apply effect drop down, let's add a Gaussian blur. Then you probably see it has a Gaussian blur effect applied in this mask. If we switch to the media mask, it will mask only the media and not the blur. Let me switch to the circle mask so that I can show you better. Okay, so here you can see the mask is ended here, but the blur is also going outside that line. So that's why we also have this both option. It will mask both the media and the blur. So if I switch to both, you can see it has limited the mask and the blur inside the circle. Here you get all sorts of blur options. My favorite is this mosaic. I will be adding more effects here. That's why I named it effects. And I will probably change the name from blur to effects when I add more effects. But for now it's only blur. So I'm gonna keep the name blur okay at the end you get this motion blur option which if you turn on and then in the controls page if you animate the master control so let me animate here you can see the motion blur is has been applied so yeah that's for the let me mask plugin but with this let me mask plugin i also have included two more plugins first is this multi poly mask which if you drag and drop to go to the user tab and then click on refresh then it will give you this empty canvas to draw so let's go to the control page and you get five different polygons so i can draw anything here and it will add a mask i can switch to second polygon and also add another polygon here and also i can adjust all the mask option from here depending on which polygon i have selected and in the user tab i get all the exact same option if I apply a outline, it will add an outline on every mask available on the screen. Okay, but what if I want more than five polygons? If you add more polygon, let's me, let me add a sixth one. You can see you can't draw on it. To be able to draw on it, you have to click on this magic wand icon. It will take you to the fusion tab. And once you are in the fusion tab, select this template node and then go to the user tab and hit refresh now go back to the edit page and now you will be able to mask and also now you can add as many nodes as you like and all of them you can use okay finally we have magic mask if you know magic mask it's a studio only feature that allows you to mask out any object and as you know it's a studio only feature so if you're using the free version you won't be able to use it that's why i have this plugin separately which you can install or choose not to install okay so i have the studio version let me apply it and once i apply it 
make sure the fusion overlay is turned on now i can just click on the person and it will select great you see the person has been masked out very precisely now you can track this mask if it was a video you can track it but because it's an image instead of tracking it you can click on this make it still by the way if you move from this frame the background will come back so move to that frame again and while staying on this frame click on this make it still and now it will make the whole clip this single frame so you don't have to track the whole image so i have launched this plugin about 10 months ago and the support was overwhelmingly positive so i'd like to thank you each one of you who bought this plugin and i hope you enjoy this new update